Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up AKS cluster in Azure portal. So what is AKS guys? So AKS is nothing but it's a fully managed container orchestration service provided by Microsoft where you know you can deploy your container based applications into Azure cloud. Okay. If you look at the architecture, you don't have to worry about setting up the control plane. Okay. So when you set up a AKS cluster uh, that is automatically taken care by Azure cloud. Okay. All you have to worry about is setting up the worker nodes. Right. This is where our uh, container based application or this is where our containers will be deployed. Okay. You can have n number of worker nodes depending on the workload you know that you might have. Okay. So in this video we are going to learn how to set up AKS cluster in Azure. Awesome. So this is my website, guys. CoachDevops.com. Okay. Um, I will be posting the below link. I will be posting the link. I will be posting the website link right below the video as well. Okay. All right. So what is the pre-request? If you see here, if you want to set up a AKS cluster, uh, you need to have Azure CLI installed on your machine. Okay. And you also need to have account set up in Azure Cloud. Okay. If you see here, I'm already having account set up. I'm logged in into Azure portal. I also have Azure CLI installed on my local machine as well. If you see here, I also have Azure CLI installed cluster. So you, this is Azure portal, right? Okay. And click on Kubernetes service. And we are going to create a AKS cluster, right? So click on add. And then click on add Kubernetes cluster. And we need to provide a uh, subscription here. So I am under pay as you go model. If you are under free subscription, you know, you can select that. That's fine. And we need to create a resource group. All right. So let me uh, try to create a resource group. So I'm going to say my AKS RG. So obviously, right, resource group is nothing but uh, it's kind of a logical uh, you know grouping or it's kind of a placeholder where all your resources will be grouped okay and we need to uh, come up with a cluster name so I'm gonna say my AKS cluster okay and I am under south central region so I'm going to go ahead and then choose this one okay and uh, yeah, you can go ahead with the default Kubernetes version. This is, you know, 1.17.11. So that is absolutely fine. And you can, uh, here you have to select the node count, right? So meaning how many worker nodes you want to have, okay? So I'm going to go ahead with the two, all right? So that is actually good enough for me. So, so select two and then just click on review and create. Okay, so everything is good and uh, you can see that and if you want to select the size of the worker nodes, let's go here. You see here, you can also change the size. For example, let me select this one. Okay, so obviously, right, you know, I want to go with the lowest configuration because this is just a sample cluster we are just building, right? So I don't want to go with a really high configuration. So let me see here. Okay. So let's see if we can select this one, right? So this is going to have 3.5 GB RAM. Uh, so about, so, you know, it's like seven gig of temporary storage space. Um, I think that is good enough or you can also do this one. Okay. Uh, or not this one, this one. Okay. So, or, you know, you can go with uh, two CPUs as well. Okay. Dual core, right? All right. So let's go ahead and then select it. So basically that's what I have selected, right? So that is good enough for my worker nodes. So basically we are going to have two different, uh, you see here, two worker nodes, right? And then that's the size of it, okay? And let's go ahead and click on review create. So this should uh, create a Kubernetes cluster. 
this is going to take probably a minute or two or even longer. Wow, cluster has been created. So let's click on home and you see here our cluster is ready. So click on this and of course you can also see the resource group as well. So let me click on the cluster, click on connect. Yeah, so these are the commands we are going to use in order to, uh, you know, connect to AKS cluster using Azure CLI. Okay. All right. So let me copy this command. So this is for setting up your subscription, right? So let me go here and then I'm going to execute that command. Wow, you see here. So everything is good. The account has been set up with that subscription. Sometime, let's say if you are trying to do this, if you are getting some error, all you have to do is go ahead and then type, you know, uh, this command. So when you execute this command, this is going to, you know, uh, ask you the username and password. And then once you sign in, you should be actually good, right? So you need to make sure that, you know, you're already logged in into Microsoft Azure, okay? Awesome. So we are good with that. And then let's go ahead and then get the credential, right? Okay, so very good, you see here. Now what this command has done, it is going to get the credential and then it is also going to update the uh, cube config file as well, okay? So let's say, you know, you want to look at all the nodes in our Kubernetes cluster, right? All you have to do is type this command, right? See here, what this was able to do is, you know, this command was able to show us the two worker nodes what we just set it up, right? See here, so these are the two worker nodes, right? And if you would like to look at the services, under these nodes right now, you see that? So this is our default Kubernetes services, right? Because we have not uh, deployed anything to the cluster yet, right? So this is just uh, just a cluster itself. We have not deployed any applications, okay? Let's say if you want to get all the deployments in all namespaces, this is the command, okay? So these are the basic uh, or default, uh, you know, um, deployments under Kubernetes cluster, okay? So this is the namespace cube system, which is the default namespace for Kubernetes. So yeah, I think everything is looking good, guys. Uh, so our 